Hi guys, so we are in Mualbal Cebu and kakarating lang namin ngayon lang talaga dito sa hotel. Uh, Nag-arrive kami sa Smaktan Cebu around 8:40 a.m. in the morning from the airport. Nagbook kami ng Grab papunta sa South Terminal which is an hour away from the Mactan Airport. And then, uh, nag-ride kami ng bus papuntang Mualbal, which is 290 per tao. Um, then, it's a three-hour bus drive. Uh, medyo mahaba talaga yung travel time. So, if pupunta kayo ng Mualbal, much better talaga ng morning game flight nyo para yung buong morning nyo ay travel time lang talaga. Kasi, all in all, around mga five hours na kayo. Um, travel time namin. Anyway, so sige, pakita ko yung place. Ang ganda. Uh, dito kami nagsistay sa The Gecko. We're going to stay here for four days. We're going to move to another hotel. I'll show you the place. And very Greek yung vibes niya. Dapat iniiwan doon yung mga sapatos. Ano yan, nakapaalang kami. <laughs> so, here's the door to yung bed. And then, the bathroom. So, very Greece yung vibe niya. Okay. Have hot water here, and then they gave us soap and then shampoo. So, yan lang naman. Good thing may table, kasi last time sa Bohol wala kami table. <laughs> so, there, nagsi settle na lang kami right now. Kasi after this, um, it's already 3 30, so bubunta lang kami sa beach. Uh, tatambay na magdalakad to get used to the area and yet hanap lang kami ng place to have merienda or mag work so there after settling in we went out and walked around Mualbual and checked out the whole place and as you can see Mualbual is a small community that I think almost everyone knows each other and everywhere you look you can see a lot of souvenir shops massage areas this is where you will enjoy your snorkeling and free diving. We also met Kuya Eric. He's on Instagram so you can follow him if you're going to visit here. He has the most affordable tours here in Mualbual. tayo sa stop nila. First stop kasi kailangan natin mag suot ng helmet and life vest. Ito tayo mga hiharam ng left jacket. Ayan, so meron silang waiver na kailangan mo i-sign before the, the activity. Ayun na lang. Okay, ayun. Sige, so bawal magdala ng bag kasi activity lang talaga. Hindi mo pwedeng kasama siya sa pag-swim. <laughs> Dala lang namin is phone, GoPro, and then extra battery for the GoPro. And because we're not allowed to bring our bags, I only brought my phone and extra batteries for my GoPro. And of course, for safety measures, you need to wear a helmet and a life vest. Thank you. Before leaving, Kuya Roy, our guide, gave us an orientation and good thing about booking with Joy with Adventures, the maximum guests are only 12 people. So that means they'll be able to address your concerns if you do have any. So it was a 30 minute ride and we've arrived. You can either choose a 1 minute zip line which was 500 pesos or do a 45 minute trek and before anything else of course they will orient Orient you for the safety measures and expectations for the whole tour. Okay, so we're going to the zip line. It's a one minute zip line, one kilometer zip line. And kailangan natin magmotor papunta dun. I'm 
con la luz, ¿no? Que la luz, ¿no? Que Regresemos a nuestro presente having lunch and ito yung binigay nila chicken rice and then pancit tapos banana and water so kung magbubuk kayo dito kayo sa joy win adventure hanap na kami ng place saan pwede mag dinner kasi it's already past 10 pm wala masyadong restaurant na bukas during this time dito kami sa baki resto bar and this is what we ordered grilled butter shrimp padami siya and of course rice and then see. Okay. 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 But then again, I couldn't mind us Got me like, what's in your coffee? I hope you call me And we can talk about our hobbies, yeah Like finding movies to get lost in And quoting phrases from the office What's it like to wear that halo? So sweet it's painful So would you put me on your payroll, girl? I know it's probably not too healthy You got me over here obsessing, whoa Friends call me stupid, call me crazy, well So long, the sanity It's our day two here in Cebu and for today, we're going to go whale watching and visit Dumalog Falls. We woke up around 4 a.m. and got picked up by our van around 4.30 in the morning. And this tour was prepared by Kuya Eric who we met yesterday. From Walbual to Oslob, it's a 2 hour 15 minute drive but because we left early, it wasn't that traffic. 
We finally reached Oslob, and luckily the line wasn't that long. So if you're going to visit Molbol, it's better to visit around April or May and try to choose a tour guide who knows when the best time to travel to Oslob is because they're the ones who are very familiar with everything here in Cebu. So for each tour, they will accommodate you by batch. So whoever you're traveling with in the van, that is your group where you will also be grouped with when you're going to swim with the whale sharks and they accommodate eight people per boat and this is a 45 minute to one hour adventure Crazy, well, so long to send And after swimming with the whale sharks, we went straight to Tumalog Falls. Shawarmas, burgers, and of course, coffee. In order namin, pulled pork uh, pizza and then humba. Gutog ka na, no? Magka-snorkeling kami ulit. Attempt number two. Sana mas malinaw na siya today. And ayun, kasama namin si Kuya Nino. Hi, Kuya Nino. <laughs> Ay, subukan namin ulit and try ko ulit mag-dive ng walang vest. <laughs> If we could run it back and do you wonder If we could run it back If we could run it If we could run it back and do you wonder If we could run it back second accommodation namin dito. We're only going to stay there here for a day kasi bukas babalik na kami ng Manila. May dalawang bed and there. Table for meetings and a mirror and lalagyan ng mga damit. And then merong view na <laughs> buildings ng Cebu. Dito yung banyo. There. Okay, and meron silang pinabite na Shampoo, conditioner, and of course, soap. Magpapahinga lang kami saglit and then lalabas na kami. Uh, pupunta kami today sa tops. Of course, we had to go out right away after settling in. We plan on going to the top of Cebu, but because it's closed, we just went to La Vie in the Sky. And I'm telling you guys, if you're going to Cebu City, you must visit this place because it's amazing. And the best time to come here is, of course, sunset. So if you're just going to visit, you just need to pay 100 pesos for the entrance fee but if you're going to eat the 100 pesos entrance fee is consumable na tayo sa La Vie okay, sa top of Cebu dahil sarado yung pinaka top of Cebu na restaurant uh, yan dito kami mag the dine ang ganda And 
another tip if you're coming here to Levine in the sky it is first come first serve if you're going to dine outside it took us around an hour to get a seat <laughs> All right, so here's their menu. They have cheese. They also have pizzas and breads. And for the meal, they have pastas and sausages. Ayan. Para makakuha ng seat dito, may entrance sa La Vie na 100. Pero to sit here on top, um, first come first serve siya. video only pictures kaya niya masyadong nakapag-film um, next stop is Maceo de Subbu de Maceo Subbu um, Casa Gorordo walking distance lang pero dahil mainit ayoko maglakad so nagagrab na lang kami uh, Maceo yung hopping kami today <laughs> after this uh, pupunta na kami sa balik kami hotel para kunin yung luggage namin and then pauwi na uh, I'm sorry. 